Hey, Motor Man here, and I'm at Wesley Chapel Harley Davidson. And the reason I'm here is I'm going to take a motorcycle, a used bike, for a ride. And that is this 2022 Fat Boy, beautiful blue color. Bike has 4,800 miles on it. And what I do is when I'm going to ride a used bike, I look for their website and I find a bike that I think would be, of course, interest to my viewers and also what I think is a really good price. Now, new, this bike is about 23,000. That's not including taxes, that's just MSRP plus freight surcharge. New bikes don't have a surcharge, but anyway, you're gonna save over 6,000 bucks by getting a used 2022. And I, I think it was uh, when they first came out with this style of the Fat Boy, I believe it was 2018, they had sort of a brushed aluminum look to the, the motor, but everything now, is back to chrome which i think it looks much better on the fat boy with the chrome bike has 4800 miles practically brand new just broken in and they're asking 16.995 so you save a bunch of money over getting a brand new motorcycle all that's left to do now is take it for a ride all right first thing i'd like to do when i get on the bike is go through the instruments here we've got of course the speedometer and we press this little button here and we switch it to the miles it's 47.99 on this bike 4,799 miles we've got 99.9 uh, .9 miles trip a trip b same thing and we got a reserve of 223 miles so that means the tank is full and there's your time and of course the rpms which is what i like to keep it on since I had some trouble with the mic, I guess I'll do a voiceover on this. And the first thing I like to do when I get on a bike that's not familiar to me is check on the maneuverability. Now these bikes have a big, I think it's a 240 wide rear tire and a lot of people say that uh, it impedes handling and it does just a little bit. The only thing with these, this type of tire when you're making low speed turns, you need to use a little bit more pressure on the bars than you would with a tire with uh, a normal size rear tire. Nothing to even think about. In fact, uh, if after a few days of riding this bike, you'd get so used to it, you wouldn't even notice the bigger tire anymore. Right off the bat, you notice there's that 114 motor, all kinds of torque, plenty of power as well. Depending on who you talk to or who you watch on YouTube, the stock 114 puts out about 90 to 95 horsepower. That's plenty for a bike that weighs about 700 pounds, maybe a little bit more than 700. But this is a cruiser. Fat Boy came out in 1990. They changed it in 2018 to this newer style. I'm partial to the older style. In fact, I have a 2015. I like the full big fat fenders. But this bike with the 240 rear tire, it's a, it's a wide tire. They wanted to show it off so the rear fender is bobbed so you can get a good view of that wide tire. And it, that tire doesn't seem to affect handling, I mean, just maybe a tiny bit when you're going around a curve. If you're going to the left, you're gonna push forward on the left grip. The bike will lean left and go left, as I've said a million times. And it might take just a bit more pressure with that big wide tire than you would find, say, on a, a touring bike or any of the soft tails with the smaller rear tire. Cruising along, almost no vibration. You feel just a tiny bit through the grips. It's low frequency vibration, so it's not gonna put your hands to sleep. And it's, I only mention it because as compared to the touring bikes, which I usually ride, is a little bit slightly more vibration. Don't feel any vibration in the seat or the floorboards. And yes, this bike is equipped with floorboards. It comes standard with a toe shifter. If you wanted a heel shifter as well, which I would, I like those, I'm so used to it. I'm always looking for that heel shifter. It is available from Harley Davidson and not very expensive. Just a matter of a five minute installation. But these bikes are made for cruising around town opening up that throttle, feeling that torque way down low. And as I said, handles pretty well for a heavyweight motorcycle, for a cruiser. It's no sport bike, but it wasn't meant to be. This is a bike you want to be seen on, and this color, this blue color is just beautiful. It really stands out on this motorcycle. 
So if you're in the market and uh, you're looking for a fat boy and you want to save a bunch of money, well, it, you can do it here. As I said, new somewhere around twenty-three thousand dollars, at least over twenty grand. You're going to pay for a twenty-three or twenty-four model. The twenty-four model no longer has the surcharge, but it's still going to cost you about twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three thousand dollars. They're asking sixteen nine ninety-five for this bike. So obviously, you can save a whole bunch of money by getting a bike that's only forty-eight hundred miles on. It's barely broken in, yet. Uh, you could save about 6,000 bucks. Nobody will know whether it's a 23 or 24 or whatever. As I said, this bike is a 2022, but it is a fine motorcycle. I enjoyed riding it very much, and it's worth a look at Wesley Chapel Harley Davidson. And don't forget, we've still got the special going where you can get the Ride Like a Pro Experience video and Surviving the Mean Streets video, two of them on a USB drive. USB drive means you always have a hard copy. You can take it with you in your practice, plug it into your phone, watch the particular exercise you're working on, and we're gonna throw in a Ride Like a Pro patch, Ride Like a Pro helmet sticker, it's reflective, and of course, the practice guide. That's the big one on the right. That is a practice guide, shows you how to set up all the exercises. And please subscribe, click that little notification bell so every time I come out with a video, you get to see it right away. Thanks for watching.